So, um, maybe I should get under the blanket for this because it's like early a.m. And there are people sleeping in the other room. Um, so I think I'm going to call this M&M Level 2 Part 1. Um, so, let's see. So, success leaves clues. This is something that I've heard from, um, Mind Valley. Well, more specifically, Jim Quick, who's like a brain coach. Um, but Mind Valley is a self development, like, online or like, I mean, it's, it's an app, but you don't have to, you can do it on the computer. Like, it doesn't have to be like, just a phone app but uh but anyway mind valley is like a self-development thing um that i utilize this year my subscription will end towards the end of the month and to renew the mind valley and the mind valley pro stuff would be like around i think around six hundred dollars apparently or something so i just i'm just gonna be done <laughs> um but then there's another self-development thing another like self-development app called like heroic that i might do that's kind of cheap um but anywho so mind valley has like different like quests quote unquote um i think i think you could say quote unquote but if not quests um, but like with different, um, different like instructors that are like, I mean, kind of like accomplished people, um, in their varying respects, I guess you could say. Um, but I, I did, um, I did the, um, the, I did quests for like four people, like, um, so let's see vision has like a six phase meditation thing um that's been able to help you know maybe even some names that you would recognize um apparently um like and vision is like the creator of mind valley or he's like the guy behind mind valley but um and he's done different things on six phase meditation i would say but like his six phase meditation has apparently helped some people or some people like utilize that and so there might be some like recognizable names that um utilize that um that one might be able to recognize um and then so that was kind of a shorter one though that only had like seven classes or whatnot and that's and then these quests have like intro stuff too so there's like intro videos but then there's like days of the quest so i think the days of the quest maybe had it probably had like seven or something maybe and then maybe it had intro videos too whatever the case it was short um and then the next one i think i did was uh um with marissa peer um Rt rtt um rapid hypnotherapy rapid i don't know <laughs> rapid trans i i don't know rapid transformational hypnotherapy for abundance that might not be it exactly but something to do with abundance hypnotherapy should be in there rapid should be in there um i guess maybe i'm just not maybe i'm not sure about the transformational but like rapid um transformational hypnotherapy for abundance some or other but uh did that i think that might have been my second one um and that was kind of a longer thing she also is like i mean i haven't heard of her but she's apparently had success with being able to like 
she's been able to help people it seems like um you could probably even look her up and i would imagine something might come up um m-a-r-i-s-a -A for the first name i think and then p-e-e-r for the second for the last name um so that was a longer one um maybe 30 days or something um so she was the second one i did um and that's just like getting yourself in a one a way that i could kind of describe it is getting yourself in a mind state or a flow of self or an understanding of self to be able to accept the abundance that's right there for you because you have blocks that you might not be aware of that prevent you from being able to receive the abundance that's already in the world for you i mean that's kind of how i might describe it um and then the third person was uh jeffrey allen um and then his quest had to do was it's called duality but it has to do with like energy and and that's just a realm that i energy work that's a realm that's not really me um, but yet I could find proof that there's something to the stuff that he was teaching me because like I do some of the little exercises and like there would be something like, you know, like maybe there's a thing of like playing with energy in your hands or playing with an energy ball or I don't know, something. And then like I would feel, you know, maybe something light or something dark or something like and then maybe even check it and then have either the same thing happen or maybe like something else maybe like i don't know there's just like one or more times that like there's evidence to like s little practices or little things little like little kind of self activities that he'd have us do and like being able to have a little something happen off of that that's kind of verification that there's something to this even though this is not my world <laughs> energy work is not my thing i might even count i could count the energy work stuff with jeffrey allen as my spiritual normally in the last years i try to do a spiritual text every year but you know this year maybe it's the energy work stuff with jeffrey allen or maybe it's mind valley as a whole um but so his was and he he's had his own jeffrey allen has had his own journey and he went from one job and then like i don't know if he, he might have been an engineer i think and then he kind of like went to the spiritual side of things and you could almost say i wonder if you could say he's like a spiritual engineer now or something um but that was a, a long quest that one if i'm not mistaken is like maybe 50 days or so i don't know i could be wrong but it's i think that's the that might be the longest of the quests i've done um and that was but actually hearing hearing like some stuff from him is actually it was kind of like almost like a trailer into mind valley for me like on facebook i would see before i got mind valley on facebook i would see like different uh like I'd watch these like Mind Valley things and like so I probably saw more than just Jeffrey Allen potentially but one of his things was kind of like a trailer for of Mind Valley for me or that or it's, you know maybe I mean because I saw more than one video in relation to Mind Valley um before getting my valley but you know, his might be maybe his stands out because I would assume I saw different things or different like different videos too. Um, so maybe his was kind of like, I shoot, maybe I, I don't know, maybe I would have seen his more than once. I don't know, but his might stand out or kind of be like a trailer of significance maybe i mean maybe not but like i mean i'm not even sure do i even remember the other ones um anyway but i'd see like before doing any mind valley actual mind valley quests like jeffrey allen's like 
a trailer or like a video of sorts in relation to Jeffrey Allen was something that I watched um, before I had done any Mind Valley stuff. Um, and so he's he's had his own journey, and I imagine he's been able to help people. Or I mean, he probably has talked about he probably has talked about his journey of helping people or, or maybe how he's been able to help people or something like he. So if you looked him up, potentially stuff would come up too, but he's had his own journey and yeah, I imagine I, I would, I imagine, or maybe he said he's been able to help people. If he hasn't said it, then I imagine it, but he's probably said something along the lines of how he's been able to help people or um, that or maybe that aspect of his journey. Um, um, and then lastly, there's Jim Quick and Jim Quick um, is like a super brain quest, like has to do with memory, has to do with like, e I guess maybe you could say efficiency of the brain like with storing data in your brain or storing stuff in your brain like memory wise and stuff like accessibility of things that you want to remember maybe um so he was the last quest that i did um did that in my 100 days of purpose and consequences and uh um and yeah, he's, it, it seems like he's taking pictures alongside famous people and has maybe helped famous people like maybe actors you might recognize or, um, yeah, act, actors or maybe other people, I think, I, I think there's an actor or more that he's, because he's, he's taking pictures alongside like actors and stuff. So actors and maybe other people he's been able to help or maybe has done. I mean, a picture is just a picture. So like, I mean, but he, I think he's been able to help some actors and, um, um, and maybe more act. He's been able to help actors and or other people. I, I, it, it, I, I would think or it would seem um so those are the quests i've done in mind valley but there's more than that and then mind valley is like you know can, you can use it as an app on your phone but you can also like just do it on the computer um and it doesn't have to be six hundred dollars because i got i got mind valley and mind valley pro um so you might be able to get away with like maybe three hundred dollars or something but it is um it's a self-development app or online or kind of like program that you can do online or on the internet or something like that. Um, but then there's other, there's other self-development like groups or people like before Mind Valley. there's this group on Facebook called like Awakened Life Connection. Um, and I've, I've, uh, like in the past years, I've listened to like two, I don't know if it's like there's two like, well, actually in, awake, in, in relation to Awakened Life Connection, there's, there's actually one thing, one video or something that I listened to from Jonathan Eglund, who's behind Awakened Life Connection. Um, I listened to one thing from him this year, but as far as the like Facebook group or like like his um as far as like going to like an actual awakened live thing i've done i've done two of those in past years um so all together maybe three things from him so there's awakened live connection there's mind valley and then um and then I also, I did one like Tony Robbins thing this year. Um, I actually like purchased something too that I haven't looked at, but I might still be able to get into potentially. But um, 
Tony Robbins actually might have been like sort of inspiration or like kind of like a like Jonathan Eglund of Awakened Life Connection. Apparently, I don't know if he's I don't know if he's learned from Tony Robbins or has some sort of or maybe he was inspired or got self developed from Tony Robbins. I don't know, but I don't know. Like maybe, but um, maybe I do know, but. Um, but apparently, like, Jonathan Eglin may have learned or something from Tony Robbins. or um, And then there's that. So there's one morning, my 100 Days of Purpose and Consequences, that it was just, like, a morning kind of filled, like, kind of God-filled. And one, one little one aspect or one little aspect of that was discovering this heroic app thing. And I was going to purchase it. But ended up deciding not to um, at the time. Well, I was going to purchase it and then it just kind of was. It just kind of was uh, put off and then I decided to like. Put it off more like it was put off and then but then I just like used the money for something else and like. And, uh, like, so I put it off and then I like put it off more. <laughs> um, I might just get it after my mind Valley is done or something, um, instead of having them overlap and stuff. Um, and then like, shoot, there's even, there's even a couple things like just on YouTube that like, were things that I looked at like there's a dude f at this year so there's a dude from uh um what's it what's it called like ridiculousness list ridiculousness or something like there's this dude called like Rob uh I don't, is it I almost want to say, I want to say Rob Dent, but I don't know if I'm just, like, thinking of someone from, like, when I was in the, I might be thinking of someone from, like, MSUM, kind of, like, but Rob, I think Rob, like, he's a dude that does, like, crazy, that has, he had a show on maybe MTV, and he just would, like, like, I, I didn't really watch the show much, if at all, but, like, his name's Rob, I think Rob Dent is actually someone from like MSUM or something in the past or something, but, um, Rob and, um, like, but anyway, like, so you would know him, if you do know him, you might know him on like the entertainment side of things and like from his show and stuff, but like there's a video that I watched like. I don't know if it was one or two videos, but like there's like an interview thing with him. And then like, I don't know if I went to a second video or if it's all in the same video, but like he's really like crafted his life um, to maximize his life, you might say. And um, so I watched a video on that or a video or two on that. And then, um, there is this other video of talk it that uh I don't know who this would be by um and this person might be someone that it that hasn't um you know found results in life and like um but like or may, or maybe they have but like there's this other video that has to do with how like so let's say that you're exercising or something and you're feeling pain or some type of stress or something. So this might be putting in my own words a little bit, but like getting yourself to love that or appreciate that. I don't know. Like, I don't know. There's this video that I also watched that I guess you can maybe say had to do with changing your your mindset or your mind frame on because like if you're exercise, I don't and I don't even know if I'm 
like but i think there's this other video that like had to do with you know it's kind of like if you're exercising and you know like it's it's uncomfortable or it's pain or it's stress but like to be comfortable in the uncomfortable because you know that it's that it's towards your development i don't know maybe it's something like that maybe not but there's this like other video um um so so far i've been talking about self-development um and self-development might be like my thing um so like in in jim in jim quick stuff he would keep like saying phrases and stuff and one of them is success leaves clues and then also in this um like in this class that i started that i might not be going back to um like from this class in like fargo called the wellspring or something um like with with a dr greta um like because there was a phone call that because i met her at a bazaar and then i had a phone call that was great with her last sunday and then the first class was too constraining for me or it's too like controlling kind of thing so it was i i can't fit into that so i might just and also like i had this like kind of epiphany i maybe you sh maybe i shouldn't say epiphany thought but i had this like thought um that was a value to me and then it was referred to as a poopy thought and I guess, I guess what I potentially will choose to do is stand up for that thought. Um, and it's something along the lines of like, whatever situation that you're in to breathe, even in that situation and that situation won't last forever, something like that. Um, but like, there's an order to the class. There is a, you know, if you answer something, it's just a, like thoughts and like, like Po like because at one point she kind of described it as like poetry or something like but that's not like these reflective kind of things like aren't like thoughts aren't the thing in that class but for me that specific thought was like an answer kind of a thought because at the point that that thought came like i was maybe already struggling with the com like fit like it was too it was there is some issue maybe already with like constraining or confining like kind of feel or situation or something so that thought was like you know if if you don't want to call it like an epiphany or like but like it was it was something and then like for that to be called to be in like referred to as like a poopy thought or something like i might choose because it's one class a week so like and I already paid one the one sixty for it, but like, because you like have to as like an energy exchange or trust or something. Um, but like, so one week is enough to like, kind of figure yourself and stuff, and like I could make adjustments potentially. Like I could go back, but I think I might. Sh another option is to stand up for that thought in a way. Um, but um. So, but I had a great phone call with her the Sunday, um, like maybe last Sunday, maybe, um, maybe, maybe it was the day, maybe it was the day before the class potentially, but, um, so I had this like great talk with her. She was like really, really saying some stuff, um. And that, like, is what made me more sure about the class. Um, but, uh, like, she also mentioned among, like, she also mentioned that success leaves clues. Um, so Jim Quick has said that. She has said that. Um, and she said, she said, besides the, the, besides the success leaves clues, she said at least one other thing, I think, that I could connect to, like, Jim Quick or something else from Mind Valley. Um, even like the Acacia records thing that she offers, like, I'm aware of that because of like Jeffrey Allen duality. Um, but so with the idea of success leaves clues, kind of like a focus point, and I've said this in a different video, like kind of like a point of 
like someone that I keep learning about. So Eminem, Eminem is a relevant um, person of study or object of study or a relevant being or a relevant point of interest or, or something. Um, like Eminem helped me with my post-suicide attempt depression days that's when i first got into eminem um and you know eventually getting to a point in my post-suicide attempt depression days where like i made this poem called eminem and it was an acronym um like smaller words didn't count for the acronym in a way like i think these kinds of words are called articles maybe but so existence is mandatory for ibuku now expect a marine so that's like an acronym, Eminem, but doesn't include, you know, certain little words. Um, so like even when I got to a point of taking a stance against like a stance against the idea of another suicide attempt or something like I made a poem that used different Eminem titles um, and it was called Eminem. Um So, so like in those post suicide attempt depression days, like I, I mean, I listened to Eminem, um, and you know, not like in a album by album way, but just like listening to different songs and like, there's something in his confidence that really like was something for me, I guess, like his confidence or like, there's something special, like that new Eminem. Unless you count Marshall Mathers LP2 as new Eminem, but besides Marshall Mathers LP2, like, something that new Eminem doesn't have, like, new Eminem wouldn't, like, help me in the past with my suicide and or depression stuff the way that old Eminem did. But I also, in, in looking at some of Eminem's past music stuff, like, I'm talking, like, Infinite or Before... Or actually, no, Slim Shady LP or before, I guess you could say. I can kind of like appreciate potentially um, kind of new Eminem's like rap style. Like, I guess he has phases too. Like I had I had a, a video of this earlier last week because I guess today is technically Monday, Columbus Day. Um, but there's a video last week called like was like Moonfist Level 2 Part 1, I think Phases of the Moon or something like that. And like... Cause I was talking about one person who's had phases and maybe, maybe I was talking about myself too, but I don't know, like phases of life and Eminem's rapping has had phases. I guess you could say like, I just found, um, okay. So I, j I just found like, uh, this playlist, I guess you could say that's like, I, I want to say 500 something songs or 500 something videos. And it's like, every Eminem song in chronological order and like there's like 35 or something videos in there before infinite so like i can't even tell for sure if this is Eminem but there's certain little little things that point towards that it could be um because you know whether it's like something that sounds like ll cool j not that i know much ll cool j but um I've there's at least one song that's of interest and like LL Cool J is like an is one of Eminem's like I don't maybe you would say role models or maybe you would say like someone that he looked to kind of in a way um and like I think I can sense that in one of the songs um and actually maybe the specific LL Cool J song that I'm most um that I, mo that I kind of, like, appreciate, or the LL Cool J song that, like, because I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of much LL Cool J, but there's a song of interest. Actually, there's kind of, like, two songs of interest, but I don't know if I'd be able to locate the, the other one. I don't know uh, if I'd be able to find for sure, but there is another LL Cool J song that I apparently, like, liked, but... Um, there's a song called Mama Said Knock You Out that was, cause I, I ended up, 
in past months i ended up like appreciating like the older um like the origins of hip-hop more in a way like there's there's a there's an origin or a background to hip-hop that i didn't like really know and um the 50th year of the 50th anniversary of hip-hop the 50 year anniversary of hip-hop was like you know at this point maybe some months ago like i don't know if it was a couple months or like but not too long ago in a way maybe a couple months or something and like so grammy.com had this like list of like the 50 maybe 50 most influential rappers or something and so like LL Cool J must have been one of them and like it had a playlist too and so LL Cool J's Mama Said Knock You Out was on there and I appreciated that song I didn't listen to all 50 songs I didn't uh read all 50 bios but I got into it um and uh Um, and so I, that there's an element or elements, there's one or more elements of mama said, knock you out that I feel like I could hear in what is potentially one of Eminem's songs. Like I can't tell for sure that it's his voice in some of these supposed early Eminem tracks. Like I haven't listened to all 35 videos before infinite. I've listened to like, I think nine and there's a couple of them or so that I'm starting to be able to like that kind of put, could potentially be Eminem, but there's some of them, especially the first ones or some of the first ones or something like in the beginning, like I can't like tell, um, for sure. But in the comments, people seem to be, um, I mean, maybe it's not those first videos, but he, at some point I started looking at comments and like, people seem to really believe it's Eminem and they might be right. Like comments in the comment sections of YouTube, like, people are humorous and they are like wise and perhaps also hurtful that also might be a thing but like they're like they're clever they're wise and i guess you could say hurtful too <laughs> um at least that's something that just kind of comes with the internet and I mean, something doesn't readily come to mind, but I think that's a thing with, that might be a thing with internet comments too. Oh man, it's, it's hot under this blanket. And it wasn't, I wasn't even fully under it. Cause at one point I looked to the left and like, I wasn't fully under it. Oh man. <sighs> um, so, I should probably get back into there because there's people sleeping in the next room. But, okay, back under it. Um, so, um, hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then also like apparently if if this is true, he used to be in a group called like the New Jacks or something. And there is at one point, maybe as part of the New Jacks or maybe as part of something else. There's like there's a New Jacks, there's a base mint, like M I N T base mint productions. Um New Jacks might be different than basement basement productions, but like there's a DJ uh Butterfingers. And like, or butter, butter fingers, and like he was MC double M or something, and like, so that would, I mean, that would make sense. Um, so like, it, it it might be him that I'm listening to. Um, But, um, with the success leaves clues thing, um, it's, it's kind of like Eminem had like, I mean, for me to get into the success leaves clues things are like, there's, so like for me, 
like the Eminem that we know today, or at least like part of like Eminem's popularity or Eminem, like the popular Eminem, the Eminem that we kind of know, even though he's like morphed in his popular days. And he's, I mean, he's been in the spotlight for, for years, but like before that there's stuff that happened. And like, if you think about it, like, obviously, because, or if I were to think about it, like, I mean, that's like, you mean how many years of life before and before like popularity hit or whatnot, but like this week I listened to, um, I listened to the Slim Shady LP. I think that was this week. Um, today well technically yesterday because it's like probably almost 4 a.m or 3 something but um it's like early morning but uh so technically yesterday i listened to infinite twice um kind of like a shorter album it's like 37 minutes or so but like i listened to that twice and like listening to that that's a different eminem and another thing that as far as like this 500 something long video playlist of what the and like the beginning videos of which you know may or may not be Eminem another thing is that like Infinite has the the Eminem's Infinite album has kind of like this jazz feel kind of thing or it has a certain feel and there's one or more tracks in these first like nine videos or so that I've listened to that like kind of have this like that I mean kind of connect with that potentially so there's little things that potentially indicate that like this these are in fact um these videos might actually be in fact Eminem potentially but um but as far as the Infinite album like that's a different Eminem I mean shoot even the past the as far as the 35 videos in this in this one playlist that i was talking about before infinite like even that's a different eminem than infinite eminem but infinite eminem is a different eminem than the eminem that we've like that's i mean the old eminem that we miss or that some of us miss or that we used to know and then you know but then I mean, I don't know how new Eminem connects with stuff because like, like listening to Slim Shady LP, for example, like helps me, might help me potentially like resonate or appreciate or something new Eminem potentially. Um, so I don't know if like listening to like this pre-infinite, this pre-infinite stuff like that might, maybe that also like learning more about him i guess might help me appreciate like stuff i've learned or stuff i will learn about him might help me like appreciate new eminem more maybe but um he's adventurous in his rap in his rap uh, or he's bold and he's adventurous or bold or something in his rap um exploration like he he has rap exploration to him he has rap exploration to him like even in these first nine tracks or so of like of this playlist that might be eminem like there's at least one song where he's like singing like um or trying to sing or something um but so like if you look at Eminem's like success and then like you know so I talked about how like my first experience of Eminem I mean technically I've heard of Eminem in the past but where I really like myself started to bond with Eminem or Eminem meant something to me more so was like my post-suicide attempt depression days like artists can be like angels for you and Eminem was like an angel for me and like 2010 2011 stuff like i don't know if i would have started 
maybe I started to listen to him in the end of 2009, but somewhere between t- end of 2009, 2010, 2011, like, that's where I, like, started getting into Eminem. Probably as it was, as it was supposed to happen. Um, but, so there's that, and then, I mean, maybe there's something else between, but, like, fast forward to, like, somewhere in 100 Days of Purpose and Consequences, of the Road of Light level theory, 100 Days of Purpose and Consequences, like, there's, like, a going back to Eminem, or, like, like, list, I don't know, like, list, like, listening to Marshall Mathers LP, too, like, I feel like it's God that, like, in my post-suicide attempt, depression days, like, I mean, all all of this, I think, is God. Like, like post suicide attempt, depression days. Then develop like running to Eminem or like dancing with Eminem in that way. Like, I think that's God, um, because I I don't know, like timing or just that like why then like meaning maybe the like the meaning that maybe that's a relevant thing um timing and meaning maybe is maybe is maybe why i think it's god um and then but then fast forward to like in 100 days of purpose and consequences there is like um um There was like, I mean, beyond Eminem, there was like some other, like there's something in relation to the Y. As far as looking to the past, there's something as far as like X-Men 3 and maybe more as far as like a movie from the past or something. And then there was Eminem, um, like Marshall Mathers LP 2, as far as like looking at just kind of stuff from the past. And like, and so there was like an experience kind of like just moments of of something with like two Eminem songs at least and that were like that were like God to me or those were like God did that or like um and then granted I I mean I process counting things as God is like how I process things or that's like like things that are like special or like stand out, like I ascribe to God. I don't know the functions of how spiritual world works, or I don't know the ins and outs of such stuff. But, um, but then there came a point, m- potentially starting outside of a hundred days of purpose and consequences, where like I would see like YouTube shorts that would just help me like learn stuff about Eminem. Um, And then, like, then, like, I mean, earlier this week, I listened to Infinite and a song that I thought was part of, or no, sorry, I think this week I listened to um, the Slim Shady LP. And, And actually, that even relates, Slim Shady LP relates, like, like, there's one YouTube short where Eminem says something like, if I... Like if, if, if some, however he words it, but like if something's on my mind, I'm going to say it or something, but like, I can just like how I am with thoughts or openness, or there's some element of me that like overlaps with him or like a past him or something as far as like Slim Shady LP Eminem, like he, he nods towards like, like bad situation, like Slim Shady LP is is uh there's a touch of psychological to that if not more there's like at least a touch of psychological like there's like i mean i mean there's little there's reference to things of like a parent um sexually doing something to their kid um there so there's a track on there called uh my fault 
and if you catch one of the lyrics like there's a nod to or there's a point of like you know the like a parent doing like sexually doing something to their kid um there's like in one or more of those songs there's like like a thing of, of as far as rape like it maybe that's the one that's as the world turns um there's there's stuff on it like it's it's it touches psychological and like the taboo and like the like yeah um and then um but yeah there are songs that in the past i thought were um in infinites but really they're in like the slim shady lp like rock bottom i think i thought that was like uh um an infinite song but no that's slim shady lp and um and then no apologies that might be one maybe that i thought was an infinite one and that that's <laughs> no apologies i think that might not be on either if i'm not mistaken so i don't because i didn't i didn't my intro into eminem was not via his chronological album stuff so you know so they even with how much i should know about eminem and you know some at least some of his past like you know i've watched i've listened to his music i've you know there shouldn't really be eminem songs that i don't know but i guess there are excuse me um like even in that slim shady lp i think there are songs probably probably i mean i think songs that like i didn't really know about um you know if we get to marshall mather lp and the eminem show you know maybe there maybe i I won't run into songs that i don't know but like even when you think you know something there's like deeper levels so like as far as like knowing jesus if i like had a drive for that and like jesus was like an object of adoration or something like there's levels like there is a level of appreciating eminem's music or whatnot and then there's a deeper level of like now looking into his like like kind of looking at his stuff like kind of album by album kind of thing i mean i don't know if i'll i mean i only might do that for the first albums or, or maybe i won't end up doing that fully but there's like deeper levels of understanding to be had um but like infinite like that's a different eminem you know he's talking at one in one song about finding his christianity and like that he's not doing cess anymore i don't know what cess is i don't know if that's weed or something else like like i don't know but i don't know what cess is so but but then future eminem ends up like being addicted to drugs overdosing like right doesn't he like overdose or like end up ends up having drug problems um like like what i mean granted but then there's kind of the question of like you know maybe because rap and or music and or art and or whatever else can be like snapshots of time so like what if in infinite like there's a certain way that he was taking snapshots of things but it doesn't per se you know maybe it's not like a current fully current like perception of who he is and who he wants to be in life maybe it's just a snapshot of him at a certain time but i mean you would think it's a it's a statement of like who he wants to be like as far as whatever song where he was talking about like how he found his christianity like i think that song's called uh it's okay maybe that might be the one there's good songs on that infinite like i said that's it's different eminem <sighs> but then like but then you have the eminem that we grew to know and that eminem that we grew to know like he helped me with my post-suicide attempt post-suicide attempt depression days and it's like it's not by you know maybe it's not even per se i mean i know there's one lyric from him in uh roman's revenge with Nicki minaj that you know like was a, a, was something for me but like it's it's not even i don't know it 
it might be stuff that he says, but it's like the confidence that he has or like this confidence that like new Eminem doesn't seem to have like new Eminem like is like almost looking for approval. Old Eminem like just was this confidence. But I mean, I suppose he's been through a lot. Like, I don't know what all he's at, but, you know, he's been through stuff. So people, could, you can only hear stuff from people for so long before it starts to get to you. Um, But then also he's off drugs. So maybe that was really like a relevant thing to his craft or something. Um, But so now that I've brought up the. Okay, so now that I brought up the infinite thing, that's where we're going to get to something. So I've talked about self-development, like self-development stuff this year. Um, and then I started getting into Eminem stuff. Um, but just to like recap before I point out something in relation to inf- infinite and uh, and future Eminem. So like I talked about Eminem in my post who's had attempt depression days. That was one um, entry point of Eminem into my life of relevance. And then in a hundred days of purpose and consequences, there's like points of looking towards the past. Um, and that included, so like the YMCA, um, an X-Men three movie, maybe more, maybe another movie too, but at least an X-Men three movie. Um, and then Marshall Mathers LP two. And then there were two songs that were like kind of like low like kind of moments or kind of like some things from god kind of or like low moments or something um and the reason i think that is like i guess a feeling but like the kind of feeling i don't know maybe not even a feeling like it's maybe little nuances in like how stuff happened in relation to listening to those songs or just little nuances in or surrounding those listenings that I can, that I pick up as God. And like, I really believe like are like, cause there's certain things that like from kind of like experience that I've come to like, and granted in a hundred days of purpose kind of consequences so we can kind of like learn that like there's certain stuff that there's like weeds in me or there's like, you know, perhaps, offages that the devil has sown or something if there's a devil that like i they like there's things that i think are god that aren't god potentially but in relation to those two eminem songs like those that's of the a nature of things that like are things that i'm more sure of even though i'm still human and i could still be wrong and but because even in 100 days and purpose and consequences there might have been things that i was sure of or like and still were wrong, but, um, but, uh, so, but then, so as far as the, as far as the chron- chronological thing that I'm laying out, that, that stuff may not be too, uh, pers- maybe relevant to, to this. So like, unless it is, but like, so there's the post suicide attempt depression days. And then, and there's all the listening to Eminem after that, dur- like during that, after that. Um, but then like in recent months or recent weeks or something like just running to these YouTube shorts that like teach me more about Eminem. And then also watching like this interview that uh, Bizarre, one of the D12 members, D12 is a group that Eminem was maybe even connected to in his popular years, but um but like, and also YouTube shorts about Eminem. Um, and then like watching part of this interview that Bizarre did, um, who's a member of D12. And then, um, and then there's this last week listening to Slim Shady LP, yesterday listening to Infinite twice, um, and then just before this video i was listening to uh like i because i had found this playlist of like 500 something songs that's like every eminem song in chronological order or something like that and there's 35 videos or something like that before infinite and i've listened to like nine of them and they might be eminem um but 
so that's kind of where I'm at in my Eminem journey but uh um unless I'm missing something but so the idea of like success leaves clues and like so Eminem and Infinite is a different Eminem that the M than the Eminem we've come to know um I mean I've listened to Slim Shady LP maybe if I if I end up listening to Marshall Mathers LP and like the Eminem show like maybe that will maybe I'll glean more perspective or something but like I kind of get to this idea of like it's okay so his success like cuz I'm like and then just I mean listening to the to the beginning of the playlist those like nine songs or whatever like that Eminem and like just with the different Eminem stuff that I've Eminem background stuff that I've run into because I've listened to Infinite I've listened to Slim Shady LP I've listened to some of these earlier songs that might be him but like because he had even in the, that first like nine songs or something if that is him he had like this I mean that was a di he had a different style kind of like more of a like hip-hop like the old school hip-hop like style if that is him and like there's that Eminem there's infinite Eminem there's old Eminem as far as like in his popular years the Eminem that some of us miss and then new Eminem and like and what if, I mean a new thought what if there's like more Eminem to to just to see like phases Shoot, what if one of those phases could involve me? But, um... Because in, in one of my, like, someday books... Because I had this, like, when I was younger, maybe for a school assignment, I had this, like, someday, um, like, book that I made. And then years ago, I, I guess I maybe I ran into it and then made, like, a newer version... And in that newer version, I said something about, like, one day I'm going to, I don't know if I would have said I'm going to do music with Eminem, or I don't know, I said something in relation to Eminem, um, among other things. Um, but, like, so I come to this idea, as far as success leaves clues, I come to this idea of, like, I guess passion and that you have to experience like a death because like like some of the songs on infinite like um never too far that's a good one or um it's okay like what like I, I mean unless it's the case that he's just capturing snapshots and it's not supposed to be like statements of like who he is going to be in life for sure or something like i mean granted like even with old eminem he made that song till i collapse and it was that he was gonna retire if he like so essentially like and i kind of like held a inner grievance to some degree or bitterness or just like this like this was a thing for me to some capacity, like, cause until, till I collapse, which is a song by Eminem, um, what would be like considered old Eminem? Um, like he says essentially that like, if he ever starts to like fall off or something that he's just going to quit and like, he didn't do that. Like he just keeps going. So like, I kind of felt an offage in relation to that. So like, maybe he's not someone that you should take his stuff so literally with. I mean, obviously, with some of the, like, darker things he says, he might not. It seems like he doesn't want you to take him literally, but, um, but, like, maybe even life stances or something, you should, he shouldn't, maybe even that shouldn't be taken so literally or seriously, I don't know, but, so, like, but I think he, there, there's the idea of, like, experiencing a death, um, 
that happened sometime after Infinite. Because even before he signed with Dre, from one of the YouTube shorts, I learned that, like, he, uh, like, before the Rap Olympics or something, like, he, like, the day before or something, like, the landlord that he was, that he, and I don't know if other people were staying there, too, probably more than just him, um, from how, from how it was said, I think it was more than him, from how I remember, if I'm remembering correctly, I don't know, I think, I think there was more than one person than him, but, like, he came home one day, and, like, his stuff, the stuff was maybe boarded or something, um, but he had to, like, break in the back or something and sleep there, and then, like, he went to the Ramp Olympics, Rap Olympics, maybe the next day, and then, like, he really needed that 500, um, that was the prize, and he didn't get it, but then, maybe it was at the Rap Olympics or something, like, someone asked for a CD, and he gave it to someone, and that person knew, knew Jimmy, maybe, and Jimmy knew Dre, and, and so he, he gave that CD, like, not even thinking much of it, apparently, but, like, so, I mean, that could be, I mean, that's, like, a low point, you know, that even if you're at, like, you know, when things look bad, or when things are, like, falling apart that that's when things may come together but like but i'm and i've but i'm talking about like a death like so maybe that happens sometime after infinite um like because in in slim shady lp because you have infinite which has like hope to it or like positive to it or something kind of but then you have Slim Shady LP, which one of its songs is Rock Bottom. And like, listen to the lyrics of that. So like, did that Rock Bottom situation happen after Infinite? Like, I just feel like there is a death. I feel like two things that I look at are like, a death and passion. Like, the way that he like, I mean, because he, he went through things as a kid and rap is where he found refuge, I guess you could say, or found something, like, was found refuge, or found an escape, uh, something, and, like, but his, like, his journey, or, like, the way that he keeps, like, developing, or pushing, or, like, his passion, so passion, and, like, a death are things that are, like, relevant I think, and when his death happened that I suspect happened, I don't know for sure. It could have been at some point after Infinite. It could have been, you know, like, because it depends. You would think that if someone has a song or something that it's like, you know, what they're kind of currently feeling, or at least at the time of making the song, but maybe he's so, maybe he's so multidimensional, which I don't think is this is the case, but what if it was the case that like he just is capture can capture different like snapshots of different points of his life and so like you know if he makes rock bottom in slim shady lp that's not how he's feeling then but he's felt that way before you know i don't think he's such a multi or like just um <laughs> meta existence like that when it comes to rap and and experiences in his life or stuff in his life but but um i mean maybe it's a possibility but i feel like he experienced a death and and then so and but then like and but the passion like the devotion or the, the devotion the and there might have been a part where he actually maybe he did actually study the dictionary because like his old stuff like pre-infinite like either it's either pre-infinite or infinite i maybe want to say pre-infinite but like i feel like i could you know maybe he did like study the dictionary and like really get his vocabulary up at some point but like the devotion the like you know like you someone be, someone's popular and like you know for you that's the beginning of your journey or your knowing of them but like they might have had a whole journey before that and you know like me even in my self-development and stuff like people you know some people know about like heart probably but like 
like woman three would know because she watched stuff in that um there's one there's uh a muslim friend that i had or have depending on how he feels um that like appreciated my grind and heartfeltization but like there's a whole journey before like the videos that people just jumped in on now and like hate me off of or dislike me off of or however they're feeling off of um like you know for good or for bad that there's potentially like a journey or a however much before that point of contact with uh the masses um i don't know if you could say that i've had contact with the masses but like i mean people have said like one mexican lady said like are you the person that went viral for impure thoughts with children or something so and then like um like it so it i mean at least on the internet or something it might be masses maybe maybe not but um so um so death and passion and like because i mean this dude really really had like has passion like it just really put the like <sighs> like bro and even if you look, look like his catalog of raps that he's made in his like years after meeting dre like he's made so many like his passion and like love and devotion and export like of this craft like and so as far as death and passion like you know maybe maybe i haven't even experienced that death but if i if i have it might have been after that suicide attempt or around the time of that suicide attempt like my attempt at physical death may almost overlap or parallel or something with the type of death that i like am kind of trying to get at maybe if not then maybe i've yet to have this death and so like if things should become harder or something maybe i should like have this stuff in mind if if i can um because like even walking in moorhead um yesterday technically after the bazaar or whatnot on the way to the bazaar i don't know that it was too bad but walking back from the bazaar like i just was like scared of people or something even though it's moorhead um but uh and then as far as passion like rap is like my thing but like if we're talking about like that type of passion that eminem has like or that type of devotion or that type of whatever what i landed on was self-development um because things like areas of interest would be like rap you know if, if we're just throwing stuff out there that could pretend like rap children um spirituality or god or something um but self self-development um reflecting um youtube i guess what but i mean but i mean i do my ref reflecting on youtube like and then i don't know but so like oh basketball even though i haven't danced with that um even though I haven't like, I don't like actively do stuff with that currently, but the NBA in the future is a thing. I believe, I think I've gotten that from God because there is someone like there's an experience with, there's a talk with a man, like there's cause, cause I talked about the Sunday that I talked to that one woman on the phone, but then the day before that, maybe i ran into anyway there's there's stuff but without like because i think i think the day before that maybe that saturday there was like there was an old face that i ran into and like just had to talk about like my journey and like christianity and stuff and like 
and like I wanted to go, I was trying to go work, but there's different, there's times in recent weeks where it's like, I'm like stopped kind of, but, um, and so this was one of those situations kind of like, I ended up talking to this, cu to this couple, um, she was with a, she was with a new man. Um, and I eventually asked her commented about that because she, Maybe she asked if like there's anything that I needed or or asked something, and then I took that opportunity to like ask or say something. But um, but then besides her, either before or after them, I think there's this guy who was like I think drunk, but like he ended up saying some stuff that was like he ended up pointing out how everyone has a different face, and like I hadn't thought about that, and he said like that's God, and then he, and then like he one of the first things that maybe he was talking about is like my body size and like why aren't like i don't like i don't like i don't know if he brought up basketball or the nba first he might have but like and then maybe i said like maybe one day or something or one i don't know or maybe i said god willing i don't know but he ended up saying he kept saying like age doesn't matter and then he said and then he kept asking like do you believe in god and even though there's a side of me that doesn't believe in god apparently like now that you know in past years i kind of get to this point of being more honest with myself and this last week you know i kind of listen even though i've listened to my darkness in the past or like let it or danced with it in the past or something like i coming at us maybe a specific angle this last week like kind of maybe did something um but then also that can apply to like that side of me that doesn't believe in god so like i kind of um dance with that a little bit maybe and i mean at least that surface level had a point of maybe getting that side to like realize that or like get to a point of like wait there, there must be a god like <laughs> but that's maybe at surface level so that like the side of me that doesn't believe in god like at least that's surface level if not for a t just for a time to get to this point of like wait maybe there is a god like there ha actually there ha like making progress with the side of me that doesn't believe in god i guess um but um so just stuff with that guy, like, and then even, and there's more stuff than stuff with that guy. Cause in a hundred days of purpose and consequences during that first fasting, like there's the idea of, of the MBA. There's the idea of like young scientists, you know, someone who in the future will have all this data of heart filtization and all this YouTube data to like kind of like I mean <laughs> I guess we could say success leaves clues but like maybe in a spiritual sense like a spiritual scientist um but uh, you know unless maybe in because there's different ideas from that fasting time like that I'm the dark knight to Fargo I'm the and I'm the iron man to the world the idea that I'm going to be in the NBA um something with Jupiter something with Jesus kind of maybe um like there's stuff and like you know i could have been you know but i could be off like maybe i got carried away or something like i can be wrong with stuff but like in that fasting period like that first fasting period where i didn't eat for like i think 13 days i think there's i mean i would think there's something special there but i guess i could be wrong but yeah, I guess I could be wrong because, you know, I can't kind of see in that hundred days of purpose and consequences that like, you know, I can be wrong about, the, I mean, in my life in general, I've seen that like, I can always be wrong, but like, in a hundred days of purpose and consequences, it's like with stuff that I'm like, like even after 11th grade, after the learning, how I can be off with stuff spiritually or how, you know, the learning in relation to that, I still ended up being off with thinking I was going to win the lottery and stuff and like so but I I mean that fasting there might be special stuff to that first fasting 
and like the things that I feel like I got from it. There might be, yeah, there might be special stuff to that, to that first fasting and or the stuff that I feel like I got from it. Um, but I could always be wrong. Um, so, and then as far as passion, okay, I kind of said some of the passion stuff. Um, I mean, but so I think self-development, like this is a side, this whole reflecting side of me that like started in years ago in YouTube or something like, where did that come from? But like reflecting and like self-development, like that's, that's like the deeper thing. Like rap is like, is like in Heartfultization, I had a series that was called Dharma and like, cause I was reading a Hindu, some Hindu, so I was reading a little hint, some Hindu stuff. And like, there's this concept, I'm, I mean, we've heard of the concept of Dharma, but like, well, we've heard of karma. We've, I think people have probably maybe heard of Dharma, but like, there's this other side of Dharma kind of, or like, there's more to Dharma than like, I mean, people might surface know or something and like, whatever, I might not even fully remember what it said about Dharma, but whatever it said, I ended up thinking rap was my Dharma and like so rap is i mean rap is a thing for me like you know but as far as like this kind of deep passion or like whatever like kind of like eminem has with rap and like what that is for him like self-development reflection i think is my thing and um and as far as like jesusism I think, so I had some, I mean, there's, this isn't the video that I thought I was going to do for my upcoming video. Like I thought I was going to like do an Afalami level two in relation to, um, like kind of making a metaphorical thing out of my experience at the bizarre event yesterday. Um, or I might've done, let's see either an Aphalami entry or maybe another Fargo Moorhead treasure, maybe. Um, I don't know, either an Aphalami thing or something else. Um, but like, here I am doing this. Um, oh, oh, either an Aphalami thing or a Jesusism thing, because there's, as far as making a metaphorical experience out of the bizarre thing, because I mean, that's the thing. Um, and then maybe there is a little potential of like making a Fargo Moorhead treasure entry in relation to that metaphorical bizarre thing. But, um, but then there's also Jesus stuff. There's Jesus stuff in relation to, cause I stayed up, I stayed after and helped pack up and stuff and, and got free food, but, um, to take home. And I, I good when I came back here and, um, but um, there's Jesus stuff. And what I'm thinking is that Jesusism, you know, is me maybe like finding out what I, is me like discovering Jesus or finding out what I believe about Jesus or like figuring out this Jesus problem as far as like, you know, God's years ago like somewhere between 10th and 11th grade like prayed that i was or said that i was leaving christianity but i had faith that god would bring me back to jesus if i needed jesus or something like that like i was leaving christianity but i had faith that if i needed jesus that god would bring me back or something april 10 2016 god did that and then there's april 10 2020 and then there's april 10 2023 like the weekends of april 10 2016 the weekend of april 10 2020 i mean maybe you could say the week of april 10 2020 in a way but um but kind of not like maybe more so the weekend but i had an awareness of stuff earlier in the week maybe even before the beginning of the week for all i know but but then april 10 2023 it's like fully the week um or at least the Monday um, 
I think I think April 10 was a Monday this year and uh, and there is relevance on that Monday um, and I noticed that like 2016 2020 2023 2016 2020 2023 these are all like kind of like challenge pure like or there's um difficulty or there's a like a challenge to each of these times maybe or each of these years maybe Like, 2016 was maybe, in a way, on me because, like, I didn't want to just... I didn't like the feel of, like, oh, I just lost a job. Like, now I need to immediately go get another one. And so it was, like, this thing of, like, trusting God, kind of. And it was stressful, but, I mean, shoot, April 10, 2016 happened that year. But it was, like, a trust God thing and not having a job, kind of. I mean, I had... I There's a... I mean, I kind of tried to get a job or at one or more points but it was kind of like a trust year um because like i didn't like i didn't like that feel of like oh i just lost another job now i have to go get another job like that didn't feel right or something and though technically there's one or more points where like i mean i even had a gig for a month or something until um i got kicked out of the master's program that i was in and so i lost the assistantship that went with that but um so 2016, then 2020 is when I started not having a place. 2023, this difficult chapter stuff that in a way kind of started on April 10. God is a master of timing, I guess, when he wants to be. Or maybe he just is. Um, but. Uh, so maybe Jesus can also help with like this self-development or spiritual development and it's and it's maybe not just self-development and spiritual development maybe there's like community development to be had like there's other things other aspects that may reveal themselves like this ref this reflecting this deeper reflecting stuff like where did that come from in these past years like so maybe there's even other stuff to discover but like Jesusism might also be me like discovering Jesus or like figuring out this Jesus problem thing or like making sense of Jesus for myself kind of but maybe not really by myself but um and so maybe and then maybe Jesus can help with like this self-development or spiritual development or community development or whatever